Hey guys, I'm Sarah Hermina. Welcome to Fit TV Network's Summer Pool House Party. My name is Ian McCall and I am a former mixed martial arts world champion. And what do you think of today's event? It's fun. It's I'm always up here in LA, so it's nice to have an event that's so close. <laughs> and can you tell me a little bit about what got you into fighting? You know, what's what's the the spark that you know created that desire to compete? I've been a martial artist since I was four, so I always and I'm, I'm tiny. And I always had something to prove, I guess. So I always wanted to go out and prove that that I could win and be really good at something. And um, you know, I was born like two months premature. I I don't think I'm supposed to be alive. Uh, and 35 years ago, that was a big deal. But you know, I just, uh, I, I've always liked fighting and liked competition and, you know, the, the, especially if it being just you and another person. It's about dominating another person, you know, with skill and, and everything. So it's, I don't know, I've just always loved it. Thank you for speaking with us today. It was great to see you. Thank you so much. of the event so far first of all the event's awesome everyone's hanging out good people here good vibes and you know that's the best thing that we can have right before a fight so it's pretty cool to hang out that's awesome. and I know you're preparing for a fight can you tell us a little bit about that what fight are you preparing for you know kind of the process in preparing for it yeah so I'm preparing for Bellator 228 it's at the forum in LA it's a huge fight for me um, I'm, I'm in front of my fans my family my fan base so it's gonna be an awesome thing for me to do um, as I prepare, you know, it's cool to have things like this, you know, to come hang out. I don't get a drink, I don't get to hang out and eat all the bad stuff, but I get to be around people. As fighters, we don't get to be around people too much, you know, it's us in the cage, it's training, but it's cool to have days off like this, especially with sponsors, uh, Fit TV Network, so I'm excited just to be here. Obviously, it's mind over matter, a lot of it, you know. What are some things that you, you know, either tell yourself before a fight or what is some advice that you could give to someone who's just starting out who, you know, needs to develop that m mental toughness? Yeah, I think more the fight is mental toughness, more than anything. It's not even physical. You can be a great athlete, but if you are not mentally tough, it all, it all goes out. And when I step in that cage, September 28th, you know, the world's going to see it. That's great. That's the, the attitude and the mentality to have. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It was so great to have you and enjoy the event. All right. Thanks, guys. Ush. Hey, guys, we're here with Marlon Webb. We're going to talk about his new series on Fit TV. So what was it like creating this series? Um, it was really chill because I was working with Dustin, someone who has worked who I've worked with before, just making YouTube videos and Instagram skits. So it was like a really laid back project, you know, just linking up with him and going over edits, going over scripts. So yeah. Looks like a really exactly chill vibe, fun team. Can you talk about some of the cast members and some funny moments you might have had on set? What do you want to know? What's a funny moment that happened? Probably just getting kicked out of places. Like, you know, shooting things guerrilla style. You just show up and shoot and don't ask permission and got kicked out of a couple of spots, so that was funny, I guess. <laughs> no, I'm sure they have your poster in the back. <laughs> no, I mean, they, they'd have to print out too many. <laughs> they had to put those all over LA. <laughs> but. Well, for someone who doesn't know and is interested in, in watching, can you tell us a little bit about the concept, the storyline behind the whole series? Yeah, it's about uh, four, four people who went to high school together and later learned that they have superpowers that there were test subjects the whole entire time. The principal uh, was working for a bigger company that was actually watching them for all of their high school experience and we had a plan later to assemble them up and do some cool shit. That's awesome. Shit? <laughs> we'll edit that out. Yeah, just edit that with that word, yeah. That's awesome. That sounds like a really cool concept, and really exciting. I definitely can't wait to watch. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be dope. It's on, well, I think the first five are on Fit TV right now, so you can watch those. And we're premiering the season finale tonight. So we get to see that. Well, that's great. Anything else that we should know about the series or what to expect for the future, maybe another series, perhaps? Yeah, well, the way the series ends actually sets up a season two, which we're really excited for. And some of the VFX people that were involved worked on some pretty big projects. So the VFX are going to look dope. 
So I think it was like The Flash, like some of the VFX people we worked on, The Flash, as well as Angel City Heroes. So that should be cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us and for being here today. And we can't wait to watch the series. Yeah, can't wait for y'all to see it. Look out for that. Jeffrey Boom. And for those of you who don't know, Sydney runs the Fit Expo. They have multiple amazing events per year. Can you tell us a little bit about what it is like to run such a successful but also huge event? Well, thank you for that. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of hard work. Uh, I wear a lot of hats, my whole team and I, we all do. So we're constantly looking for new things to make the show better, for everybody to experience something new at every show. Because we have four shows in the state of California. We are in San Jose, Los Angeles, San Diego, and Anaheim. So we're always looking to keep things fresh and make sure that people want to be at our show to see new competitions, to see new bodybuilders and influencers, to meet new people, to get inspired, to stay motivated. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of work, like I said. But I mean, all in all, at the end, watching everything come to life is really what it's all about. And it's the most rewarding experience I've ever been a part of. And I can say from experience, I went to the one in LA and it was so professional, so fantastic, amazing products, vendors, people, just competitions, everything was fantastic, seamless, so great job on that. And Logan, you were on Revenge Body. Can you tell us a little bit about what that was like, how much you lost, and you know, just the whole process behind it? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a pretty crazy process. I um, just randomly auditioned for it, like trying to lose weight. I My heaviest weight was 285 pounds, and uh, you know, I was going through a process beforehand, losing weight got a stalemate and whatnot. Got on the show, uh, Chloe Kardashian show, and then she gave me celebrity trainer, Corey Kalia, who's, he's, he's the man, he's, he's awesome. He's even been at Fit Expos. And um, he just kind of kicked my butt for three months, showed me how to work out properly, eat properly, how to live properly, mentally, emotionally, physically. And I'm um, down 100 pounds from my heaviest, down, uh, 185 or so and it's uh, it's great. I feel great. I feel the best I've ever felt in my life And I'm excited for everything that's you know moving forward right now Well, thank you guys so much for being here for you know taking part in this event and uh, anything else you'd like to add Thanks for following us and thanks for having us yeah. Thank you Chloe and thank you Corey and thank you for having us as well. Well, thank you guys so much model extraordinaire. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about, you know, the fitness obviously is such a huge thing yeah. for you, not only fitness, working in the gym, but also nutrition. Yes. So about a year and a half ago, I think I had met my trainer, who's actually my business partner as well, John, through Instagram. He had contacted me. I had kind of fallen off the course, I guess you should say, um, with my training and nutrition and just kind of once I had moved out to LA three years ago, just we're busy, we're always on set, you're eating bad food, and I just lost the motivation and the habit of going to the gym. And I just didn't share the same motivation I had 10 years ago to like, no days off, man, I'm gonna hit it so hard, and yeah, I'm gonna eat chicken and broccoli, and no, I wasn't gonna do that. So I met John, we started working out, he told me about intermittent fasting. John's in great shape, I'm like, you know, I've had questions about that because I've heard things about fasting, but I never knew how it would work with training and lifting weights, right? Because I'm like, I need to eat. How does that work? And so I've been doing it for a year and a half. I love it. It's worked wonders for me, especially with being busy and on track. And it, he's taught me and broken so many myths for me that I had heard over the years. And that's just really also what our brand's about, like breaking it down. I'm super excited about the new content I have out. Absolutely amazing. And I think it's so great. I mean, there are so many myths yeah. out there. So thank you for debunking yes. some of those and, and making it so, you know, you're you're so approachable, obviously, in person and, and on social media. Obviously, you know, what, what I guess, in, in your opinion, was the biggest thing mentally to help you overcome that hurdle of not being motivated and, and so many people fall into that, obviously. What would you tell them? My big thing was, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't, I want to eat the foods I enjoy. I don't want to feel restricted. I want to live my life. And I was looking at the way I used to train. I'm like, I don't want to spend six days in the gym, hours, and I just didn't share that kind of passion for it anymore. So John taught me a lot. We So our whole program is two meals a day, two workouts a week, and two walks a week. So same thing with my cardio. Like I'm like, man, because I used to do CrossFit. I did hot yoga. I fractured my neck doing CrossFit. <laughs> I mean, I was like hard, hardcore. And even now through my progress pictures, like I'm blown away at how my body looks and the changes and the strength 
find what works for you. That's my biggest advice. This works for me and it's simple and that's what I needed. And also when we're in the gym, we go hard. Like, so I'm in there for an hour, but we go hard. I lift heavy and make it count instead of just going in there and doing the BS. Like, work, get out, get done, and go live your life. Well, thank you so much for being here. It was so great talking to you and enjoy the event. Well, that's a wrap here at our Fit TV Network summer pool party. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for joining.